Alright, alright, alright. Here we are. Always remember to do your dailies. Like, train your mouth. We are ready to rescue Sai Sahar. Okay, are you, are you done spawning on me? Thank you. <laughs> Failed three times to listen to Parent Aquilarius. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I just kept running, dog. I don't move that fast. I don't move that fast. I could have pulled. <laughs> could have pulled this motherfucker out and not be moving that fast. I mean, Lord help me. Always remember to do your dailies. Well, I, gu I guess Varen wants us to go save Sai Sahan, so I guess that's what we're gonna go do. <laughs> All right, let's go save Sai Sahan. I'm so glad I got that on video. Oh my god. All right, all right, let's hop in here. Let's hop in here. If I keep having like random stuff happening, you know, I might, I might just end up recording and posting the recording instead of going through and editing. I mean, shoot. Fuck, I lose a lot of time like just sitting there editing. I record like 40, 50 minute long clips and I cut them down to 20 minutes. And then I go back and voice over them. I mean, like, granted, would make a lot less progress if I do that. We would make a lot less progress. But it, it just might be worth it for the sake of time. Because, like today, I, I sat down at like 8, 8, 13. That, that, that's when I sat down. And, um, oh, I got hit by the spikes anyway. Okay, whatever. But, you know, I got home. I had to make sure I had some dinner. You know, I got a pizza cooking in the oven right now. It's supposed to be done in about 10 more minutes, you know. And, like, I really want to continue making progress on this character. Because, like I've stated, I love this fucking class, okay? Continue making progress with it. It just feels amazing. So, I, I'm like always real happy to just run back into this fucking class, dude. I just. As far as the main story of ESO goes, I can always link that in the description. And I think I'm going to for this one. For some people, they do want to enjoy the story. And that's what I want to do for Necrom, but I want to max out this character before I do Necrom DLC. This class just fucking shreds, though, dude. I am loving it every single second. I've never, never maxed out a class on PC yet, or else I'd have some champion points to run through. So, and as you can tell, I don't have any champion points to run through. So for my first, like, PC max, I, w I would really love for it to be Arcanist. And then do that before starting the actual the DLC. Alright, gonna have to talk to Lyris again. While we do that, I'm gonna go ahead and hit my level up. Ooh, daily reward. I will take that. Yes, sir. I am so glad I logged in today. Vestige. Hold a moment. Hold a moment. How about you hold a moment? Because I'm I'm trying to I'm trying to go through things. I don't think I ever phrase you. I can't tell you how many characters I got to level 20 before I got bored with them. They just don't click. When they don't click, I stop. When they don't click. But like me and the fucking Arcanist, dude, I have clicked this whole fucking time. It is unreal. One thing I will say is passives. Oh my god. So, I'm usually not somebody who builds passives when they do a build. Uh, unless I'm following a build. And if it says to get it, I fucking get it. But we don't get many with, with passives, the if I'm building on my own, they're like a... a they're the last thing to pop into my head. So, that being said, I don't ever really grab passives most of the time. With this class, I have been. Because, oh my god, let me tell you. I first started with a Magicka version of it. And, um has a lightning staff equipped current but has been mostly running it with a uh, fire staff uh with him it, it, it was I, I saw the passives and i started reading them and i just I, I bought more passives than i did skills like dead ass i went and 
bought a passive before I bought a skill if, if it was available. And it is just shredding. See, this is the tough part about about recording, like trying to do this after the fact. Like, I don't know what to say. I'm sure I'll figure it out, but like, what's funny is this fight here, when I played my, my magic sword, uh, this was actually a very challenging area. And I went through it with my Magicka Arcanist, and honestly, it wasn't near as much of a challenge. There's a uh, opponent called a Dataroth. Well, it wasn't a Dataroth, but it was it was like a big version of Dataroth, I guess you could say. It was kind of like Titan, but not Titan. I'm not too sure. I actually have it in uh, one of the previous uh, parts where I think he's a pretty low level boss, honestly, but it's the first boss I have ever killed on my own. And I did that with a level 18 Magic Arcanist, and I did it again with a level 17 Stamina Arcanist, and honestly, oh, that that really helped me fall in love with this class. I swear. It just feels so strong, like like this whole time I've one bard. I I I have another bar, and it has a healing blast. <laughs> And, and that's it. <laughs> like, this whole time I have only one bard. And I feel like that is an accomplishment in it of itself. Could have hidden that amulet anywhere in Tamriel, and this was your first choice? It seemed like a good idea at the time. Brilliant. Why is it that the people with the most ridiculous ideas are always the ones who are most certain of them? <laughs> Shut up, Shut Tharn. up Tharn. I'm not gonna lie, I really love Tharn. I wish this would hurry up. There's a lot of talking in this quest specifically. But uh, once I hit level 50, I fully intend to do Necrom DLC. And then after that, it's pretty much gonna be slow moving for this character. You're just gonna be grinding champion points, and I feel like a really good way to do that would be all the other stories, all the other DLCs, because there's more than just the hard bridge. Yeah, I'm, th I'm thinking. I'm thinking we go back and we do all the DLCs too, because um, one thing I was really wanting is I just wanted to hear like a broad recap of everything. I know the main story of ESO. I I know this Harbridge storyline. I know a good chunk of the Elsewhere storyline. That being said, though, I just really want to dive into Necrom because. It brought my favorite class so far. Once I beat that, and like I said, we'll do that once we get to level 50. And once I beat that, then I'll go through and do all the other story DLCs. I, I won't, I won't be speeding through it like this. I'll, I'll take my time, and we'll, we'll go through the story together where we can all perceive it. Ah, uh, fucking hate puzzles. I remember this. I really hate puzzles. Oh my god. And we're good. I really fucking hate puzzles. They slow everything down, man. I hate it. Well, I hate it in the terms of, like, when I'm trying to hurry up and get through something. I should go ahead and clean this. There we go. Ah, there we go. This is a good one right here. So, this is gonna be where I really start. I guess you could say, uh bar swapping because it's fate woven armor is good and then we're going to get down here to where is it I believe it's this one here Tom Bear's inspiration yeah gets put on your weapons that's when I'm really going to start two barring but for now one bar is all I need And hopefully I can turn my Abyssal Impact into, um, 
I forget the morph, but it, it makes it where it starts generating cruxes, which would be very beneficial. You are nothing. Let me figure out where he goes after this. Yeah, it's done so. Do you really think that death can stop the most powerful necromancer Tamriel has ever known? This is merely a transition. My first step towards and true fact, immortality. Here. Now witness my true power! Watch as I rise up from the grave and ascend to Listen. You think you can betray the Lord of Brutality and Domination without consequence? Snipe that. I'll see you guys next time. Kisses.